Cal, uh, very disappointing game. How are you feeling? Yeah, obviously all the lads in there very disappointed. Uh, felt hard done by, but I mean it's it's one of them games. It's cruel football. Uh, we you know fans back in and did it. You know felt a bit lifted. Um, I felt like one nil we were never you know going to concede. And with the fans you know behind us, you know I felt like we could have went all night playing and not conceding the goal. But obviously the red card it, it changes the game and space of five minutes we're losing the game 2-1 it was a bit unbelievable but you know we've got to take massive positives out of the game and look, look at how we've played the reaction from Tuesday all the lads but you know they run the socks off all game the desire was there the commitment was there and can't fault the you know the work of the lads and we stuck to the game plan like the gaffer was saying I was stuck stuck to the game plan that we're teeing just so unfortunate unlucky are they from the kind of um from Tuesday, I mean, like you say, from a defensive perspective, you barely put a foot wrong. I think it's up until the, the goal, they'd, they'd not troubled Mike with a shot from inside the box. And then yeah. crazy five minutes while you're kind of reshuffling and, and, and you lose the game. A staggering feeling, really. Yeah, it's, it's, it's so, it's mad how football can just change in one little instant and then it just changes the whole complex of the game, like you say. I can't remember Coop's actually making a save and I was thinking, you know, it was solid no spaces, the distances, what we talked about all week was right. And I mean, from Tuesday, training on Thursday, training on Friday, everything was, you know, when we came on Wednesday, went through the video work and everything, everything was spot on and the reaction, you, you could, you felt like it was going to roll into Saturday, which it, which it did. And yeah, it was a madness minute, five minutes, what it was, but, and then, you know, we threw everything at it towards the end and we actually could have probably nicked another goal, nicked a point, um, but yeah, good for the boys. I was going to say, um, obviously, after those five minutes, you, you, you regrouped and, and you had a shot from the edge of the box that, that nearly ripped the top corner. T- tell us about that. Yeah, obviously, like losing 2 1 and the way it went, I thought anything could happen tonight. So I thought shooting with my right foot from 25 yards wasn't a bad shot. Um, but yeah, and it, uh, I don't know, it was inches, that's what it is. And it just, and that's just, uh, you know, our look at the minute. We're, but, the, you know, the character we've got as a team, group of lads, all the staff we have, and, you know, down to everyone day in day out you know I've got no no doubts about that we're going to prepare right all week and be at Bristol with the same commitment as we were today and you know, we can't go f- f- too far wrong Very different kind of feeling post-match uh, to, to Tuesday's game isn't it I mean you pretty much did everything right save for, save for one crazy five minutes you've got to take the positives from that and, and kind of put everything else behind you really haven't you yeah, we've got it. We did, you know, we did so a lot of good things today. We did mainly more good than bad, and we've, it's, we've got absolutely everything spot on today, apart from the result just wasn't there. And we've came away with no points again, so it's one of them. We've got to take all the positives, like you say, because there was a lot in there, and and just the results aren't falling our way at the minute. But like I said, you know, I've just touched on the, the group of lads we've got, the staff, and everything. I've got no doubts that it'll swing in our way and moments like you know what happened today won't happen and that'll fly in top bins hopefully in the near future so yeah I've got no doubt that we can swing things around yet Final word before the uh, hoarding behind you falls on you yeah, uh, <laughs> been, a, been a long while but you, you finally got to play in front of the fans today tell, tell me how you're feeling about that Yeah obviously you know, speaking to Nance about it you know he's from from our, uh, Plymouth and you know massive Argyle supporter I said to him when I ran out, honestly, I know there was only 2,000 there, but getting to clap the fans and seeing them all, bright, smiley faces and all that, I had such a big smile on my face going going for a warm-up that I've never had. Uh, and I said, it was unbelievable, put his arm around us, and I, you know, I can't wait till there's even more allowed in. But yeah, I thought the fans were brilliant today, and obviously I hope to see that, you know, the boys give absolutely everything today, and with them here, we'll continue to, you know, put performances in like that, and I'm sure the results will come. Thanks, Kel. Thank you very much.